Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? Listen, I was wrong about Tartaglia. Let's just talk about a few months ago where I told you guys Tartaglia was not a good character. Well, myself, I did enjoy this character in general, especially on my main account. I did like how he flowed. I really enjoyed that he changes his stance and does this little dance right here. However, I didn't quite hit it off with him. Um, Tartaglia was an interesting character that I didn't quite understand at the time and I felt like I couldn't quite bring the best out of him because I didn't know any teams or whatever it was on my actual main account but now on my secondary account here on my free to play account I, I couldn't love him more. He's such an amazing character and I felt like he had to be my main on this account. Not only did I get lucky with him with a constellation on him but he flows so well with this theme that I have made here that I just have to show you guys and talk to you guys about him and tell you guys why I was extremely wrong about this character. If you guys enjoy this video, hopefully you do, consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel as well. Thank you so much for 450 subscribers on my channel. See you guys in the next segment here. Cartaglia is an amazing character. Let's just talk about him real quick. First of all, if you go to his weapons, he is a bow user. Uh, as you guys can see, I did recently get the Skyward Harp, so I'm going to be using that on him in today's video. All right. So if you go to his artifacts, I'm running the Heart of Depth set on him. Um, I have some decent artifacts, not the greatest, but I do have some decent artifacts on him. I'll show you guys the stats right here. And uh, yeah, almost a 1 to 2 ratio on his create and crit damage on the free to play account, which is pretty, pretty good in my opinion. All right, he's on constellation one. Dance is at 388, but because of his passive talent, the master of weaponry, you get normal attack plus one for every character that's on your party, which I find pretty good. But what makes him really good is that he applies hydro really quickly, and not to mention Shang Ling applies vaporize almost every attack. Jangling has no internal cooldowns or whatever it is. She can apply that vaporize over and over and over and over again. Not to mention, I have a bunch of constellations on her, making her really powerful for my team. She's at 9, 10, but technically 6 and 7. He changes into a melee stance, and this melee stance does a bunch of damage, whatever it is. But if you have this talent on him right here, um, if you score a crit hit, you apply Riptide. Riptide is something that deals damage every 1.5 seconds, if you guys can see here. It's considered as elemental skill damage, and it deals a lot of damage, especially if you're doing a little combo, especially with Shang Ling or whatever it is. Raging Tide is really good for applying Hydro. So you want to be using this with a character that can fully utilize it as I view, I'm using Shang Ling. So it's pretty freaking good. As you guys can see, Riptide Slash also deals 103% damage, which is pretty cool. All right, let's talk about his ultimate. His ultimate is actually two different types of ultimate. He has his range stance in which he uses his bow and the melee stance, in which he uses his weird elemental skill, staff, weird dagger type thing, right? So the first range stance, it, it, it deals a 605% amount of damage, but also returns 20 of your energy. That's one third of the total energy cost for Tartaglia's ultimate. And you can pretty much spam this if you have a good enough energy recharge on this character. But generally he just gets his, his ultimate. But generally he does get his ultimate pretty quickly. And his melee also does a pretty good amount. 742% that's a nuke does a lot of damage not to mention if you have riptide on them it's going to be a almost a thousand right here with riptide so going to be pretty good around 900 something really really powerful stuff. i talked way too much here um obviously he has really good weapon choices currently I have the skyward harp on him i do not have the rust bow so I'm a little unfortunate here. I tried using the Alley Hunter. I tried using the Black Cliff War Bow for a while. And um, the Hamayumi Bow is on my Yoimiya. So I got a Skyward Harp. I didn't get the most recent Thundering Pulse one, but I do have the Skyward Harp now, which is pretty decent either way. 
All right, we're going to go into the Spiral Abyss here and try him out to his full ability. All right, let me show you guys exactly where to attack this really good character. All right, let's get straight into it. Boom, baby. All right, we do a little bit of that. Get this going. We can do some of this as well. The angling goes off. Now Tartaglia just full on goes <laughs> berserk. And you guys can see just what is made of the character. It's just incredible. Obviously, we can't really break this shield with Tartaglia because of hydro damage stuff. But we can use our animal character here. All right. There we go. Tartaglia is back. We do some of this. Get this going on. Do that. And hit this one more time. Go full on alt mode. And pretty much over. <laughs> so he's gonna clean house real quick. There we go. Beautiful, really. He is too good. Um, but yeah, he gets pretty good damage. Um, I should get him to level 90 though, which I do not currently have him at. But I am going to be getting him to level 90 very soon. So don't you worry about that. Alright, taking Tartaga to floor 11, chamber 1. Let's get straight into it. We move. Okay. Here we go. Ow, 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 that hurt, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Alright, as you guys know, floor 11 has um, the corrosion status effect. So it's a little more difficult to control. Such as I don't have Bennett on my team or... Um, any other character that would boost damage but instead i have gene gene is pretty good either way so um i'm, I'm pretty much just using gene to heal here though as um all right we're not losing that much hp because of uh gene thankfully all right we're gonna ultimate here decent amount of damage and bop bop all right and gene can heal us up now we want to do this, get a little bit of damage done there, and I don't know why I ulted exactly, but it would be just fine here, boom, and I'm going to finish this guy off real quick, alright, there we go, and Gene heals us off, there we go, and Kaza back to our guy or Taglia. There we go, big. Easiest floor 11, chamber 1. Alrighty, we're in the second half now where we have the Tartaglia team here. And let's see what we can make of it. Alright. What about that? Oh, dodge heal and boom all right that's a lot of damage right there all right look at that beautiful all right that. Ooh, i wish they would just collect together Um, my bow for him. All right, heal up. And there it is. There we go. One more of these. Ultimate. That cleared out most of them except for this guy. And we're going out. Now. Lean. All right, I could go into the third uh, floor, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. You guys get the gist of it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video as well, subscribing to the channel, guys. Their tag is actually pretty freaking good. And uh, if you guys get a chance in the future of getting Tartaglia, I would recommend this character a lot, especially if you have a Shang Link um, as your support or your DPS or whatever you call her. 
And so yeah, as you guys have seen, Tortaglia is pretty freaking good. He's one of my favorite characters to play as of now. And um, hopefully more characters like him appear in the future where it really like it helps the game flow. The characters come along, synergize the team completely. It's such a nice feeling, but yeah. Uh, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video as well. Subscribe to the channel as well. Goodbye.